channel today, I want to talk about street photography. Now, I've, I've sort of been inspired by uh, a few of the greats on YouTube and Instagram, like Snaps by Fox, Professor Hines, we've got Mark Fernley, all amazing uh, guys that produce some absolutely stunning content from walking around cities, capturing architecture, lighting people, and uh, I thought, I really fancy doing this, but uh, certainly when you look at it, it can be quite an intimidating subject to go out there into the streets with the camera and take pictures of people just going about their day-to-day -day lives and just capturing street. So I thought it was a challenge to go out and have a go. So with my M6 uh, Mark II with the EFM 22mm, which is equivalent to 35mm, and uh, shooting in uh, black and white majority of the time, I uh, just find it better for, uh, for my creative side. Um, so I've been up to London a couple of times now and just walked around the streets taking photos just to try and get into it and try and uh, learn some of the processes of becoming a street photographer. So in this video I've just put together a few of the images that I took during a walk around uh, London. So I started off in uh, Canary Wharf so if you ever go there you can see the uh, the video up here for the link which I did in my part one. It's very architectural, a bright sunny day, you get lots of shadows, lots of um, casting, people there are just going about their day to day business and don't seem to worry too much about you taking photos as long as you're not going up to people in their faces and uh, taking shots. Um, so that was in part one and then the second part of the day I took the tube over to uh, King's Cross. I went round the market at uh, Borough, which you can see the photos in this video, and then I wandered across the bridge up to St. Paul's and then just walked through London, just seeing what took my eye really, and uh, taking pictures as we go before heading home. So you can see the rest of those pictures in this video. So any feedback, any pointers, tips on there, then please feel free to uh, let me know in the comments because I really appreciate your feedback on it as I struggle to try and uh, get to grips with the uh, street photography uh, genre for want of a better word. Now, there's a few things that I have learned as we go. Having a small camera works really nicely because you can just keep it in your in your pocket and with the wrist strap there you've got the security known that you're not going to drop it and it's always obviously with you. Um, I would always normally shoot in manual mode if I was doing landscapes or other stuff but I'm actually using a few of the YouTube videos to set the camera up so that I just uh, point the square. So generally it's set at um, autofocus around around about um, f2 to f8, auto ISO and auto um, shutter speed. That just enables you to come up, take the picture and then hopefully you capture what you want. And if you've got a bit more time, if it's architectural, or you're trying to capture shadows and obviously you can take a bit more time in doing a setup for it uh, maybe change tweak this the settings manually from there but if you're just walking around trying to capture the moment then just having it in auto and just adjusting the um, aperture is probably the best way to go certainly from my experience So a few of the things that I've found just on my beginning street photography which may help you in uh, your quest if you're just starting out is uh, firstly when you arrive at a place is just to have a walk around, don't get your camera out straight away, just try and soak up the ambiance of the place and then uh, once you feel happy get the camera out and then maybe start taking some, uh, some photographs and then just wander around and just see what captures your eye because that's probably the best way um, that I've uh, found. Uh, another thing if you are taking pictures with people up close always ask them because I came with uh, one 
gentleman which I took a picture of and he was not particularly amused. Um, once I explained what I was doing and it was just a form of artwork then he was okay with it but uh, always ask if you want to take someone's portrait in my view that's the best way to go and if you're taking pictures of um, street people, uh, buskers, uh, anyone trying to earn a living from the street from uh, making music etc always have a pocket full of coins just so that if they do let you take their picture then you can give them a reward back or just give them a, a pound or a little bit of money just to say thanks for it I think it goes a long way from rather than just taking the picture so there was a few lessons that I've uh, learnt on there another one um, would be is trying to avoid eye contact with people if people think you're taking a picture of them then they think probably the worst why are you taking a picture you know is it my boss trying to catch me out because I'm having a crafty fag whatever it happens to be um, so always just try and take the picture as if you're not taking the picture of them and then I, th I think it, ends, it just works much better on there as I say all these things are new to me I am still learning every day I go out on it um, but I'm really enjoying the uh, the challenge of street photography when I get to go to um, uh, the city like London or even just um, uh, locally around your local towns um, you just walk around and you do find stuff to take photos off so uh, as I said earlier any comments any tips pointers on there please leave them in the uh, um, comments below and uh, I'll continue posting up some of my uh, findings that I, as I sort of make my journey through this street photography uh, genre and I'll post the images up on my channel so thanks very much